morning everyone oh my god it actually is the morning i've just i just washed my tan off um which actually went like a decent color it always looks lighter um but i put one layer on of like bondi sands which i know is really hard to get off so i'm gonna hate myself later and i dyed my eyebrows because let me get some cute clips to put in my hair i am hosting for six friends today it's easter weekend so i thought it might be fun to vlog a little bit i don't know what i'm gonna vlog but the weather i don't know if you can like tell it's just so nice today so i'm hoping it's not cold but we've literally made like pasta really nice salad we're all gonna have drinks we're gonna dress really nice so i'm very excited for that i feel like I've not seen some of these people in months, so it's going to be really, really nice. Um, I just can't wait, basically. So, I need to get all the makeup I want to use. Also, I feel like my... I might not be tanning as much as I did last year, like how dark, but my actual fake tan um, foundation looks quite orange sometimes, so I might have to mix it, even though I am tanned but i thought we could chat anyway i've got all my little bits i just i feel like i don't it's so hard to vlog when there's nothing to vlog but as things are opening up like i definitely want to do some like come shopping with me and stuff like that um i just can't wait for primark to open and then yeah and then we can just have a fun vlog, but I can vlog tomorrow as well. Where have I put my spot oh, in my pocket? So basically, I just want to vlog and hope it's not boring for you all. But then we can have a little catch up and I can show you my Easter eggs and we can have a fun Easter Sunday together as well. Probably not going to do much. Oh my God, I just had um, someone message me where sorry i was literally just filming then then i got a phone call about um a job interview so <laughs> exciting it's gonna be a fun week i've got stuff in the air now but i hope you're all okay um i hope you've all had a really nice easter you know on tuesday when it was like a really really nice day i literally just didn't do much i should have really seen my friends but um we watch the sunset together some of us but you know like when you're all together in a garden it's just different than being able to like walk around so i'm excited for that i'm just excited for life to get a bit more normal um i don't know i feel like it's so weird i feel like this lockdown was definitely the worst but now i just feel 10 times better so i hope you all do too I'm having a weekend off calorie counting, which I probably will regret, but honestly, I've just not been having the best time with it recently. Um, I've been calorie counting still, um, still having a day off a week, and like yesterday I had a McDonald's, which was really nice to have on like a cheat day. Um, but yeah, like I'm going to have an Easter egg, I'm going to have some drinks with my friends, I feel like I'm not in a massive rush, like I don't need to lose weight for a certain event, I just want to lose it in the long term, so I'm not going to feel too guilty, um, but I'm probably going to watch weight, I'm not going to have like uh, 50 brownies in like a takeaway again, but you know what I mean, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to stop weighing myself though, like for the last two weeks, it's saying I've lost no weight, which would be normal, but it keeps saying I keep putting it on, but I'm not well i was due my period um so i was just eating like at the higher end of my deficit which is literally fine like you have to eat like three thousand five hundred more to put on even like a pound um so i wasn't too worried um about that normally i like to stick about like 1600 700 um but i just keep saying that i've put on like let me think how many pounds four pounds um which i mean if i have that is fair enough but it'd be really it's just really weird like i've literally done everything i can so i don't know we'll see it's just a bit disheartening but i haven't done anything different i'm not like 
I'm not not putting calories in and snacking or anything like that. Um, but I'll just, I think I'm just going to have to stop weighing myself because it gets to a certain point where, I'm going to blend down my neck by the way, it gets to a certain point where I just become obsessed and this happens every time I start like a weight loss journey that I become obsessed with, oh Selena I'm sorry, I'll open the window for that. Once she fell out my window um, because I sneezed and she got really shocked but she just came through the cat fuck and she was literally fine, bless her. Um, but she loves to sit outside my window. I don't know why. She's a cat. She likes to look at her kingdom. Um, but yeah, I feel like I just start weighing myself every single day and then I don't see a change. I then get upset just because one week, like this last week, has been a bit different. And it's saying that I've put on a bit of weight. But it's only a few pounds, so it's not the end of the world. But I just don't, you know, we just really don't understand what's going on. Um, because I'm still doing everything. But uh, this, I, I want to only give myself this weekend to be relaxed. Like, oh, on the 21st of June, I'm not being funny. Okay. I am going out all weekend and not caring about anything. But I really want to stay on track just so I can at least lose, get to the stone mark and then another stone, hopefully. Um, I want to have lost at least two stone this year. Um, sorry for going on like a massive rant while I do my foundation. This isn't very fun, but yeah, it's just, it's just one of them where it's a little bit difficult when you're not seeing a change and it's going up and you don't understand. So I feel like I'm just going to give myself this weekend, you know, I'm going to have, an, I'm gonna have a couple of Easter eggs, not just one, I'm going to have a couple of Easter eggs, I'm going to have some drinks with my friends, um, try not to go too overboard, but make sure to have a really nice time for Easter and then I will sort my life out on Monday. Maybe Tuesday, we'll see. <laughs> Look at her just like chilling outside, having the time of her life. Also, look at them skies. You can't deny that it's going to be a good day. But, but, I've got a fire in the garden and we've got some wood and everything like that. So if it is a bit chilly, we just put that on and it should warm us up. I'm just going to powder. Powder with my revolution. I'm trying, gonna try not to make this video just me getting ready, but it's just really nice to properly catch up. Like, I feel like when I'm doing the actual get ready with me, I have to focus on the makeup and tell people what I'm doing, even though, like, no one cares, but I just want to, like, stay professional. <clears throat> but please comment down below your favourite Easter egg, and I really want to know what you've done or what plans you and your friends have, because I'm nosy. I saw some of my friends the other day, um, I think Thursday, and it was really, really nice. Went to my friend's house, we haven't seen her in so long. And one of my other friends lives in Manchester and she has done since she left you. Oh, I think she's lived there for like four years at least. And she's moving back home and she was looking for a place. So she was down here. That was so nice. It just makes me really happy because when people are moving home, I'm just like, Come be with me forever, please. I always thought, you know, that I'd want to move to Manchester or Liverpool because they're like the two biggest cities near me um, and get a job there because there'd be more opportunity because I used to really want to do something with media. But like, I was just like, oh, me and Owen will get an apartment. It'll be really, really nice. And now I've just, I've done like a 360 and i just don't want to move away from home i want to stay home i don't want to go anywhere and i could never have an apartment after lockdown like i've realized that i do need a garden i need like an open space after the first lockdown i literally just changed my mind i was like i'm living here living here um probably not forever but for most of my life this is not really a fun chat is it do you know what? My staple is this bronzer. Like, I always use this bronzer. But then when it comes to blush and highlight, I'm just like, I don't know what to pick. I just don't know. It's one of them. I think I want to be quite peachy today. So I might use Modern Mandarin by MAC, which is, like, so annoying on an iPhone. I feel like you have to really angle it. I wish I had a camera, but it's just like life, in it? Also, going to use my bronzer as eyeshadow. Right, in person my chest always is like tanned but it's not as white as it is on camera 
but that's just so annoying it doesn't tan as well as my neck but like i don't want to have a really light face an orange neck and a white chest honestly who is makeup it washes off at the end of the day i don't know why i'm getting stressed right i'm gonna use my living my best light palette i might finish oh wow look at that sun glow whoa off sets leaning off now um but yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready and then we can i'll show you how i decorate the garden i'm probably not going to decorate too much maybe put the fire on blankets and i'm going to make it really cute get the little bar out but yeah so finish my makeup i've done quite simple makeup now i'm going to go downstairs and have a look what we've got i think they've put the fire on i just dry my hair still selena's having the time of her life We're just setting up a little area, aren't we? Cut the little bar. I need to put more lemonade here. I got these WKDs because I thought, you know that guy on TikTok and he put like a bit of vodka and WKD, blended it with ice and then another colour and it made like a tang of ice glass. I thought I could just try it. Sours and then these just leftover alcohols from lockdown. <laughs> So yeah, I got some gin at the back. But yeah, everyone else is bringing some, so it'll be a full bar. Look at this little cute thing on my bar. And then on the other side, it's got like a big bottle opener. I've got another one of them, we're meant to put it on. But I think I'm going to paint this bar another colour when we take it to the new house. We need a new top for it as well. The bins are behind, that's nice, isn't it? But that's just where they go. Are you putting the fire on? Getting it going? Get it going, yeah, can I put some charcoal on it for the warm up around it? Yeah. I like this fire, it's not too, you know, the other one, it was so smoky, you couldn't sit near it. Yeah. It's just there, that little one. Yeah. So here's some of the food, one of my friends is dairy free, so these are hers and then these are for everyone else. Um, my mum's her best brownies, look at them. Yes, oh, sorry I'm snotty. I've got a cold, like not Covid, I um, just have a runny nose. Um, hummus, little dipping, I feel like this is just like elite food this. We've got my mum's famous salad. Everyone loves this. It's quinoa, tomatoes, loads of feta cheese, stuff like that. Another salad. That's actually just me doing stuff. I've got some of these last night. We've got marshmallows for people, not veggie, sadly. I've got all these camping chairs um, that I've just put out in the sun because there it's a bit shady. But um, we got these from Big Tesco's last year. They were like two for £12, so we just got loads of them. <laughs> Oops. But the sun, I mean, this is ruining the whole vibe, but the sun. Oh, little Selena. She's looking for the dog next door. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Here's my outfit for the day. I'm literally just wearing my long maxi dress that was in my haul. The sleeves are a bit annoying though. Like, I think the top bit is a bit too big, so they keep falling down a little bit, but that's all right. I'll just keep pulling them up. But yeah, I think it's really cute. What do you think? Is this not just the cutest little setup? Look what my mum's done. She's put like marshmallows in here. Um, so I might get some like little cocktail sticks and put them out. But I'm just gonna fill up these with some sours so when everyone comes. I literally just broke the last shot of glass so there was enough for everyone. Now there's not, so I guess I will be drinking from the bottle. Thumbnail. <laughs> right, anyway, let's fill them up. Take a shot and make a take for bitch. Oh, I might just fill them all up. But I don't know if I'll have enough sours to do that. So I probably shouldn't have done that straight away. Do you know what? I really could have had some tequila rose today. It's something I quite fancy. But I don't have any left. Oh, the fire. Can you hear that? 
roaring the roaring 20s oh wow that was enough and still a bit left look how cute and for a good day so we're just gonna set up made a big bowl of crisps this is the dip i found in asda last night which looked good creamy avocado and garlic not the biggest avocado fan but look nice so let's go see what else there is with that crackling fan you can hear it and a wild panther what are you doing someone's already taken spot in the garden My first guest has arrived. Oh, just look how cute she looks. I can't deal with it. Hi. Right, so setting up. We've got um separate them, they're vegetarian spring rolls, some chicken for people that eat meat, different types of pasta. Oh wow, thank you. Spoons and forks on the way. And then desserts. Oh, the vibes. The food. So I've just made this. Look how beautiful it looks. I met put pink gin, pink gin, WKD, and loads of ice and a bit of lemonade. Oh, as good. Oh, look at that. Man on the move. <laughs> I've not seen you two in so long. I feel like we all need a proper cat. Look at this cake. Uh, and in the day, uh, and I'm at McDonald's. Morning. Morning. There's a doobie on the floor because I was extra cold. You want to sit on me? But hi everyone, good morning. What's the weather like today? Mm. It's quite windy today, but I'm just all cuddled up. Sorry for not ending the day yesterday, but I didn't feel that well. Like, I had half a cupcake and the icing just set me off like I don't know what it is about icing it makes me feel really ill could have brushed my hair couldn't I but it's one of them days and then my heart rate won't go down I'm just like drinking alcohol because I feel like my body's just not used to it um so yeah that wasn't a fun night's sleep but I woke up at half nine regardless you know I'm trying to be a better person so if I could show you my little also, this plant that we have, you can like cut a bit off and grow it. My friend said she wanted one, so we're just trying to grow a one, so ignore that. <laughs> um, but, so I've got an Easter egg mint uh, Maltese buttons. The me and Owen have a minstrels each. And then my mum and dad got Owen this Ferrero Rocher one. I've never had one, but I don't really like nuts and chocolate. I don't know why. Oh, and then Owen's mum got me this one. Also, a bookcase has been packed away. That's why it's empty. Um, and then for my mum, all I wanted was one of these. So, I mean, she's one of them, isn't it? I just set them up all nicely. I think that looks, like, quite cute. But I actually don't know what to eat today. Like, oh, my mum and dad are having lamb. But Owen's picky eater and I'm vegetarian, so we'll just have to see. Honestly, I'm so tired. <clears throat> it's quarter past ten. And I'm going to sit and watch Big Bang Theory. And I might make like a nice breakfast spread with some pastries or something like that. But we'll see. I'm also obsessive animal crossing at the minute. I, I'm in Christmas time though. I think I should probably change it back now. But I don't want to. I want like all the Christmas decks and stuff. So I might 
try and go through December quite quickly and then go back to April. Hmm, sorry. But I'm just a big cheat when it comes to Animal Crossing. On my other island, though, I didn't cheat once. But on this one, if you want a good island, it's what you got to do. You know what I mean? Let me prop you up here. But, yeah, I might upload this vlog today. Um, or I have a get ready with me. I need to edit both. But I'm just charging my iPad right now. But, yeah, let me cancel this. And it's apparently 2 45 in the morning on my switch so i don't want to play and then we'll cross in there nothing will be open look how cute my island is so you come here and if you go to the side yeah let's go to the side i've got like all these little bits basically i went back in time for things like this like i want loads of the mushroom stuff but i got a bit bored of it during november and december so um if you go straight there's like this little fountain bit um and like different sides which lead to like the plaza area and there's whitney hearts either side well that actually didn't save my game so i don't <laughs> oops but if you go over here where the other bridge came out there's like a little picnic area and i'm trying to make a little outdoor restaurant but i think this table and chairs is a bit too bulky for that um yeah let's go back actually so say if you go back over the bridge this is like my oh i need to change the uh this is like my little farm area which i think looks really cute <clears throat> i'm losing my voice I need to do a little bit more to it, but I feel like it's quite cute. I want to put some wing, wind turbines there and stuff like that. But, yeah, and it's got, like, a little um, orchard in. Then I'm trying to make a little park here, which will lead to the museum. Um, which is like over here um, But I feel like I'm doing like little bits at a time Oh, I'll show you my little shopping district actually I didn't do that If you're not interested in Animal Crossing This is like so boring and I'm so sorry But I'm obsessed with it at the minute So if you're in the plaza and just having a little chill With Whitney, you should a little workout I don't know why I'm holding a shovel I've got like I'm trying to make a little bus stop here. I need some more stuff. Um, then this is my little shopping district above the um, plaza, which I've never done before. I actually really like. I need to sort this area out, though. There's quite a bit of empty space. But I really, really like it being here. It's all together. I like having a city vibe, but park cottage core. If anyone understands. And I've got one more little bit to show you. I got Wolfgang the other day on my hunt. If you saw on Instagram. No, that's not cheap. Let's do it the right way. Okay. Over this hill. This is my... What do you call it? Train station. And I think it looks really, really cute. And then these are where you get your tickets. And there's a little coffee shop above, which I really, really like. And then I've not really done much else to it. It's more like the campsite's going to be over here, but I've not sorted that out yet. And I'm in the process of sorting out people. There's Marina. Look how cute she looks. But here's my islanders at the minute. There's me, then I've got Cherie, Poppy, Marina, Fauna, Sherb, Gala, Wolfgang, Stitches, Whitney and Annalise. Um, I don't know which ones I really want. I didn't really want Wolfgang, but I got him in a hunt. Um, I spent three days even trying to find someone half decent and I like his character. I've never seen him before. And him and Whitney go cute. 
um stitches is really rare so i've just got a bit excited i saw him on a hunt as well when i had one ticket left annalise i could probably get rid of but i actually really wanted her she's quite cute but now i've had her i'm like mm. i didn't want gala but now i love her but i want ketchup i feel like fauna will never leave like she's like my little baby and i love sherb as well but i want like eric and maybe ketchup i want people i've never had before so it's fun having like this row of people i've never had i've had these two on my other island but i don't think i've ever had these either or sherb so i tried really hard to find people but this is boring now so i'm really sorry it's called puddle town by the way um just because i was looking at cute names in the uk and this one came up so i just had so many eggs for breakfast because how else are you gonna do it on easter i'm all right lazy so oh dear sorry about that <laughs> singing oh i just i want to make some fit see i want to make something for lunch well it's actually breakfast time but oh, oh look at these cute cornflake cakes also i've been having these cold brew coffees like every day so i might make one with you all today um i got the um i always get the vegan ones and i got the mocha one this time i think actually we do have the other one um <clears throat> which was espresso but they have loads of them and they're actually really nice so i might have one um i just need my own milk so yeah i use this oat milk um but any oat milk will do so i like to use like one of these glasses because i feel like i'm costa Yesterday, I bought some, well, my dad bought me some ice, and um, I made loads of, like, WKDs um, with vodka and, like, ice into, like, slushies. They were dead nice. But, yeah, I like to put a bit of ice in, if I can get them out. Fill that back up. Put you down a bit more, but I don't know how. So, I like to put, I'll get me a little measure. Oh, it's a bit dirty, let's clean that. My little measure. Let me try and... Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. Can't see that. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so, now you can see a bit more. Milliliters. So, shake. I think I put in about 50 millilitres of this when it's shaken. When it's not shaken, it can be like less. <laughs> so I always make sure I shake it now. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit today. Oh, okay, that's basically 60. I didn't mean to do that, but we're not calorie counting today and it's literally only like 50 calories. Oh, that smells so good. And then I put in about 60 of the cold brew. I think 60 of that and 50 of... Wait, no, I think this one's a... This one is literally like five more calories, which doesn't make a difference. But I think the other one is like 31 calories. This is 37 um, for 100 milliliters. But if you, I always put in about 60 or 70 just because... Um, I don't like to have too much coffee, so I don't have one of these every day. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. You can put 100 though, and it literally doesn't even matter. I feel like coffee actually is really, really filling. Um, I might put in 70 today. Okay, then I need to get a straw. I think Selena's here. Hi! She'll want some treats. Okay, then just just mix it like that. How nice would this be with 
like syrup and i could like blend it up i feel like that would be so nice but i don't have any syrup so where do i even put that cold brew sorry if you can hear big bang theory but i'm gonna try this i've never had the mocha one. Oh wow i'm not the biggest fan of like a really milky taste so i might that's the only problem with these um but I don't really know how to make it taste less milky. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know when you go to Starbucks and I have, like, an oat milk cappuccino? I want to know, because they obviously put in a lot of milk. So how do they make it not taste so milky? <laughs> Someone let me know. Morning. Try my little cake. Selena thinks we're playing hide and seek. I'm going to sit on the floor because I'm a weirdo. Hi. I had these, this is going to sound really disgusting, I'm so sorry, but I had these yesterday. Oh, no, don't touch the sofa, mum will kill you, mum will kill you. Um, <laughs> she always does it, to be fair. We left these in the sun yesterday and some people ended up being late, so they melted and then went soggy. So I put them in the fridge, so I hope they taste nice now, if not, I'm... I put my dad off them though. He, he got one of his ham ready to eat and I was like, don't do it. I, it just made me feel a bit ill. No. <laughs> Never mind. I just bit into that and I was like, uh, no. Ruined. Right. So, I now need to end my edit another vlog and then I'll be back for Easter egg watching a goggle box and i've got a chinese for tea and they've actually made the portion sizes for the chinese smaller like i'm not being funny these used to be double the size and it's really upset me but i've got this vegetarian shredded chicken i'm literally pigging out i've not even had an easter egg yet hopefully i'll have some room to have a little bit but i'm having a really good easter weekend an ultimate cheat weekend hi everyone i literally actually look a bit rough i need to go and have a shower but i actually have been awake really early this morning but i've just been trying to i basically done six pages of like a social media strategy to give someone a job interview but um i didn't have show me having an easter egg last night so I'm really sorry about that. I only had a tiny bit because the Chinese was quite big. Um, but I just got ASOS puzzle. So look at this dress I got. I thought I could show it you um, before ending the video because I don't want it to be too long. And I have another order coming, um, like a Shein one, which I'll definitely vlog. Um, but I got a really long maxi dress. Oh. Yeah. well they're actually midi dresses um but this doesn't look stretchy enough i mean it is but like i don't know but do you like it the color i need a tripod um but yeah i think this is really cute i might try it on but i keep getting midi dresses because i am so small that they look like maxi dresses on me um like the one i wore two days ago now wow i've been vlogging for a few days but i want to try and edit it so i'll show you this on if it fits and then we can finish but look at selena here's the dress um you can actually see my underwear through it so that's not the best <laughs> literally um but it's black but what do you all think i don't know i can't decide i feel like i'm in a 60s or like 50s diner so um big bang theory's on but i've just got ready for the day and i'm going to see my friends it's a bit chilly but it should be fine i've got brownies i've just put a tiny bit of makeup on i feel like this is my makeup for when I don't want to put I don't want to put lashes on. So I'm having a nap behind me. How funny! I really need to get a tripod, but yeah, sorted my hair out. So it's still a bit damp, but one of them. So 
thank you so much for watching this little vlog i really hope that you enjoyed it and oh selena's trying to get in there no don't no, can't do that She's squashing herself in me makeup drawers um but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy i think i might um vlog again at the end of the week just because i don't actually have a tripod so it'd be too hard to do anything else really so sorry if that's a bit annoying but might be a very vloggy week um but after my job interview and stuff i can update you on stuff like that um so yeah thank you and i'll see you soon for a brand new video bye guys